Oh, right, we're making another attempt at this. Today we are playing against the Extreme AI in a 1v1, where I'm only allowed to play as Byzantines, but I also can't attack until we get to Imperial Age, so I'm going to play very defensively. And unfortunately for me, I did not grab all my goats, so I need to go grab those. Yeah, so this is the challenge that I've, I've been stuck with today. I actually asked ChatGPT to give me this challenge. I played against the AI and was defeated, so I was playing against the Romans. Now, last time I went random, but because I feel like I need to make up for my crushing defeat, I need to play as against the Romans again. And unfortunately, the Romans seems the, when the AI plays Romans, they seem to be ridiculously good at it. I don't know if it's because of the Roman economy or what, but it seems to really, really just not be a good time for me. So we gotta do. Salve, we got that, that thing on food. So I'm gonna try to go for a kind of fast imp kind of deal because. Realistically, that's the only real way we're going to get through this. Alright, so let's bring some more sheep over. Cool, let's go build that lumber camp. So this is, gonna, this is a bit more of a challenging scenario than when I played against... When I played against the AI using only Militia. Because when I was playing against only the AI with Militia, I was able to get, you know, good positioning and all that. I can't really do that with this. I can't forward castle. I can't really do any. I've got to play very defensively. So I need to make sure I'm all, I've walled up properly Salve. so I can Babu. boom correctly. Which will be happening shortly. This isn't the best map for walling either. Like, look at this massive gap between wood lines. It may not be in the cards for me to wall this properly. I might put some, like, military buildings forward just so that way I can defend. I also might just go into towers. Oh, let's send you to, to wood. Went a bit early on that one. Cool, we got a sheep here. That means another sheep there. Awesome. Alright. What's the scout doing? The scout's being weird. Alright. Cool, let's... Uh, oh, actually, there's probably some deer to push too soon. Make sure I find those so that way when I do need to push deer... Why is the boar running away from me? Oh, the rhino. It's like he doesn't want to be hunted. Let's go to that. Because he's gone, they're going to be a bit early. Cool, let's... Awesome, that was, uh, was a bit, bit intense for a second there. I was like, oh, I don't want to lose the... I don't want to shoot the ball with the TC, but I also don't want to lose a Vil. Alright. The three... The three... They're very far away. I'm actually tempted to put a mill there. I don't really want to, but... If it's at the cost of my eco, it's probably best not to... I don't know. Still deciding on that one. I'm gonna go get this boar, actually. Awesome, let's keep going. Sweet. Okay. Oh, let's let's mess with the AI's deer push. No, I didn't mean to hit him. That's okay. Is that accident? <laughs> I'm sure he'll forgive me. Let's put a lumber camp there. All right. Ah, oh, I lost my scout. Salve. Well, we're not pushing any deer now. That's, uh, that's, that was unfortunate. I should have been watching what I was doing, so now we've got no way to see what's going on. We're off to a great start. Just absolutely fantastic start. Should I be too fancy? And do too much scouting? Like, just try to do too much while... I should know my limits, basically. Let's, uh... Okay. I think we should send, not those two, we should send this one here to build a mill, because we're going to need to mill those deer now. We have no choice. We'll send her that one there. Alright, let's go to that. We should probably build another house over here. And I think we need to get some vills on gold. Let's just take out this zebra. 
Thankfully, like losing that scout means that we don't need to stress so much for building houses because this, that's the only silver lining, I guess. Uh, let's build. I don't want to build the barracks too early, but I, f but I will need to wall up a little bit. Let's place that there. Okay, so these guys are going to go there. We need to click up immediately. Alright, so the AI is in feudal age, which is a bit concerning because I've got a feeling they're probably going to push me early. So, we need to make sure we get these walls down. And I might wall up down here. If we can't get all these deer, I don't, I'm not too worried. I'd rather have the villages not be destroyed. But yeah, so we gotta basically try, try to be defensive because we can't do anything until Imperial Age. And that was kind of the idea of the challenge in the first place. But I didn't want to be this, like, I didn't want to be this scared of the world. And now I've got a cow behind my walls, so that's fantastic. Thankfully though, because we're Byzantines, we have a lot of HP on our buildings. So let's place that there. And then if it becomes safe, we will then go get these two ostrich and zebra. Uh, next up, I want to build the... Ooh, do I want to build... I'll build the market now. Then depending on where the AI decides to push in from... Okay. So that's what's happening now, apparently. So let's do that. Place that there. Delete those. House there. I just want to make sure we can basically be walled up well enough that they can't get it. Because now that they've they've got scouts, they can't really raid us. Delete that. Because I want to build the blacksmith, and then we should be able to go up pretty quickly into Castle Edge. Because the AIs, I don't, I think I may have been a little bit short in my vill production. I probably got a bit of idle time, but because they can't get into the base, it means that those scouts weren't worth it for them. That's that's all I wanted to make sure of. If they send archers, they can't really get in. I think there's actually a hole there that I want to wall up. Nope. Okay, cool. That's... I'm very iffy about that terrain, terrain honestly. Uh, this can go here, and then they can start on some stone. We'll go to Castle Edge. I probably... Yeah, I think I've been a bit short on my vill production, which is not ideal, but... It is what it is. Yep, they're looking for an opening. I don't see any openings on this other map at all. Let's just... Let's just triple check, because I don't... I don't want to... Get caught off guard at all in any way, shape, or form. Alright, let's go there. Let's research double bid axe and then get some more guys on farms. So then these guys are going to go do some stone mining. Cool. That was that worked out pretty well. And... Yeah, so we, we're not going to have much military out in the field until we've got Imperial Age. And once we get to Imperial Age, we're going to start throwing them out there. My initial idea was to go into Cataphract, but I think I've got to tech into that after I've had some stable units out. Uh, let's see. Alright, you can go onto farm. You can go. Oh, that's in a weird spot. You can go onto farms, and you can go onto farms. The rest can go onto stone. Actually, this one can go onto food, food too. Yeah, six on food, six on stone is pretty probably right. Actually, it's probably a bit too much because we're not going to build a castle too early. But I want the ability to basically build towers to defend ourselves at the very least. Cool, we're in, we're in castle age, which is nice. Correct. And, well, actually, we're not far off going to Imperial Age, if I'm honest with you. So let's build a monastery, and then go to that. Gonna buy some wood, because I, I'll buy some wood, so we can get... I feel like our farm's gonna start to de deteriorate. Let's research Hellas Colas, that way it's not too much of a problem in the future. Alright. Salve.
Okay. Ein. We'll get the monk ready. Because I want to get this relic. Impero. Let's grab a bit more wood because I want to get... Ein. Think in a university. The ooh, we're short on we're short on wood again. Presto. Let's build a university now. Sane. Actually, no, you know what? Siege workshop. Kondo. Kondo. Makes a lot more sense. Let's have some more wood banked up. Let's get uh, bow saw because we're short on wood again. If we can get to Imperial Age before they get to Castle Age, that would be beautiful. Presto. Sane. Correctus. Sane. Okay, let's place the barracks. And then I want this one to go to gold. Just for the sake of having the ability to make actually make troops. Oh, no, thank you. They're guarding that relic. That's not cool. Let's go this way and see what's out that way because monks have ridiculous vision. Because we don't, we don't, may as well not waste it. Alright, let's sell some food. Get, get closer to getting to gold, getting out the gold we need to get to. Oh, there's a. There's, what was I doing? I just stepped away for a second. I forgot what I was doing. That's right. I we are going to go to Imp shortly. And I think we go to Imp now. And I think Price. we need to build another TC. Let's delete Price. that lumber camp. Mondo. Let's build a TC here. Salve. Presto. Okay, they're still... They're in, Imp, they're in Feudal Age and we're going to Imp. I think we have this Salve. in the bag. Yeah, I don't care. They can do that if they want. Okay, Skirms and Archers. So that means... But they'll probably end up transitioning into something else. Let's castle this area. Let's make sure we're out of range of the archers. Yep, so they're going to run away. That's fine. Alright, let's get... Let's get Wheelbarrow. And then get some more Vils because Wheelbarrow is a great ecotech. Salve. Correctus. Condo. Condo. All right, let's get you there. Let's get... Well, we haven't got... We need to get... Where's our blacksmith? Uh, we need to get some more of the... We need to get the armor upgrades and stuff for the knights or for the cavalry. So the AI is making trash units, basically. So they're making range units. I need, I'm going to need to make a scout. Because I want to see what they're making specifically. If they've gone heavy into ranged units, then we definitely want to go stable into Paladin or something. But there's a good chance that they might actually not. Alright, let's... Oh, why isn't the TC shooting at him? What the? TC didn't do anything. Okay, let's scout around this way. Salve. Impero. All right, let's go with... I think we need to build another TC out this way. But first, let's place the Palisade, and then do that. And then we're going to build another stable this way. And then we're going to scout around. I think we get that relic too, and then we go for that relic, and then bring it back to the base. We can ta start taking out villages. Okay, let's get some knights out. I think it's very important we get knights out. Okay, we've slowed down their ability to do... Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Maybe. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Okay, we're gonna have like not seven knights. That that should do a lot of damage there, Eco. Cool. It's amazing what a real build order does for you, and not whatever I was doing last video. 
All right, let's place that farm there. Let's place this farm somewhere. And then we want to get forging. I think we will spend some res to get chain barding armor, which cool. we'll get that too. We need to get more knights out. I don't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable throwing my knights out too early. Let's get. Cool, let's, uh... How much is Cavalier? Okay. Whoa! Okay, no thank you. Let's... Let's pull these guys back into the castle. Oh, actually, let's go... Let's go under the castle fire, because I want the... Okay, let's go... We'll go around. We'll try to get into their base that way. Condo. Presto. Condo. Awesome. Okay. Okay, we're dealing with their eco now, which is important. Okay, let's go back around. Let's run away. Ain condo. Presto. Condo. Pero. Condo. Okay, we'll deal with this spearman or pikeman. Salve. All right. Uh, we need to con control group these into that. Let's go with those and get some cataphracts ready to come out too. I love my cataphracts. They're like one of the best units in my opinion. Well, they're one of my favorite units. I wouldn't say they're the best. Best looking, maybe. Presto. All right. We want to do some more eco damage if we can to try and keep their. So we need to keep the Romans at bay. Nope, that's a lot of it's a lot of army there. Well, Cavaliers now a good upgrade to have, so let's go down that way. I think we want to get fletching for our castles. Okay, trebuchets, let's bring our army back into the castle. Range. Alright. Presto. Okay, we're dealing with that. I think we need to build some more stables. Okay, let's pull these guys back. I think we need some scorpions too to deal with that. Okay. Let's go do some more eco damage. All right, let's go down. Go around this way. Okay. Okay, control group three. We'll get some more Pats Cavalier out.
Salve. Salve. Presto. Condo. Okay, let's get some. Let's get these guys over to here. Get heavy plow while we're at it. There's some more. There's a monk going that way. Let's build a castle right on their face. If we can, that would be good. Okay, that's good. We're doing what we we're doing what we need to to do to achieve this. Let's get some more cavalier out. They really they're really going heavy into the into the archer units, aren't they? Well, now they're going into knights. These guys are doing nothing. They're very, very, very lazy villagers. So we'll build a TC here, and then we're going to build some farms. Presto. All right. Okay. This is this feels so good. After having having tried to do this before, and like I know you only saw one video prior to this, but I have given this a couple attempts, even before that video came out or was even made. So that's. It told you how long I've been doing it, trying, trying to achieve this goal of defeating the Romans. Even though they weren't even meant to be, it could have been any civilization, it just had to be the Romans, though, didn't it? Okay, let's take out that stable and that stable. This one can stop, that can take out that one. I, if that was the MTC, I'm going to be very upset. I mean, I'll never know, because I'm not going to go watch the capture age of it, but... If I find out for some reason. At least, like, we know that they're not going to have centurions. I think centurions are a big problem for us. Let's, uh, let's get onto the wood there. Well, oh, let's just not worry about that, TC. Let's, uh, let's place this TC, oh, we don't need a TC, let's, actually, no, I want that stone, so we'll go get that. No, oh, don't want that. Alright. Okay, so they do have a castle now, which means that 
the possibility of Centurions is ever-present. But I, I don't think they've got the eco now to make anything that's going to be that scary. I'd like to, I, li I would like to research Paladin before the AR resigns. But I don't think it's going to happen. We still get our scorpions from before. Those scorpions came in clutch when that army was in a big group too. Well, they didn't kill everything, but they did—they definitely did enough damage that it was going to be basically impossible for us to not be able to stop it. Because what you need to do realistically is do enough damage to the units so that way they can't. Let's get the let's get these guys going in. Let's just send them in. Let's take out that TC and then that TC, and I think we should be good. They're still trying to go for those relics. I mean, it's not going to get- that monk's never going to get that relic. This shows you how tunnel vision the AI is. Alright. There's something satisfying about having an army of, like, heavy cavalry. I, I think, I personally really like cavalier. I like, I like the style of it. Almost more so than paladin. It's just, it's something satisfying with paladin. Oh, they're resigning now. Oh, I didn't even get to see paladin come through. Let's, let's see how far away was paladin from being researched. They're going to show it on the thing. It was at 94%. Alright. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. That was far better than my previous showing. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this stuff where I do challenge videos against the AI or even just where I play the campaigns in historical order or anything in between, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button so I know you're enjoying this content. And if you've got any ideas for challenges, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.